This week on Jam with Alice, my guests are their incredible hot new team from the fitness app Live, Train, Eat Fitness, which you can download on Apple and Google Play. I will be talking to Bishop Don from VH1 Black Ink Crew Chicago, fitness experts and bodybuilder competitors Nicole Hogan Jenkins and her husband Brian Jenkins. We will be right back after these announcements. Hey, it's that time of year again. Get your holiday shopping in early with Just My Boutique, PiecesOfAllis.com. Hey, we got some great holiday gear for you and your tribe. Also, some great wrapping papers, different designs this year. And we have some hoodies with some nice little slogans on the front. And for the family fun and for yourself, we got 2023 gold puzzles. And don't forget my new book. Shop at PiecesOfAllis.com at Just My Boutique. Hey, this is your girl, Alice. I have a new book out, Making the Ball Smooth, The Next 90 Days. You can download that at PiecesOfAlice.com or go ahead and get the paperback over at Amazon. Hey, it's time to make those moves right now. You have 90 days. Let's go. Hey, this is your girl, Alice. This is Jam with Alice. I know it's a Monday. TikTok Monday. It's Monday. I'm not supposed to do this. No, this is a Sunday. See, I'm sick. I was sick last week. And now I'm better this week. You can, ask, you can still hear it in my voice, though, but it's okay. I'm going back to work tomorrow. They probably try to kick me out like they did last week, but it's okay. That's okay, because I have some fabulous guests here. They're going to show me how to get well. They're going to show how my body can get well. And, hey, they have a challenge coming up, so we're going to let them talk about that challenge. There's some little money into it, so you probably want to stay tuned and listen to it, right? Um, but they, they are totally, totally fabulous. So, um, so stay with me. If you haven't liked the page and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Get that on out the way. So when you see it, this is live on TikTok, but when you see it on YouTube, you'll be able to go just straight on over there and you don't have to worry about doing all that little extra. Do it now. Please do it now. Okay. All right. So once again, I have with me my guests and I am so excited because I've been waiting for them for probably about a couple of weeks now. Right. And I got a chance to attend their um, launch party for the longest, uh, strongest for the longest um, app that they have out. And the app is actually called Live, Train, and Eat. Start looking it up now and start downloading. Train, live, Train, and Eat Fitness. Okay. Definitely want to go ahead and get that done now. But my guests that I have with me, we're going to start off with Mr. and Mr. Jenkins. So that's Brian and Nicole Jenkins. Um, they are... A, they are results-driven business and fitness professionals. Now, this is what I looked at. Not what they told me. Y'all know me. I'm going to be nosy about everybody's business, right? Mm -hmm. And they have coached over 100,000 clients so far to date, all right? Um, they're including high-profile professionals, sports, um, bodybuilders, fitness competitors, and um, actors. I'm going to know who the actors are. Um, they have a passion to help people and to look and feel better, which is a really, really good thing, especially with the new year coming up. All right. We all need to have that new life. I also have with me Don Broomfield, a.k.a. Guess what? Yeah, you're right. Bishop Don. Um, Beard. Well, you know, I think they call him Bearded. Is it Bearded Bishop Don? or just Bishop Don on, <laughs> on Black Ink Crew of Chicago, the reality show. Now, he was something else on there, but from what I can see, he's really gotten himself together, and he is a top-notch professional. He does the exercise as well, and he's a devoted wife and to his wife and his children. So, And he's a businessman. What else can we say? All right, so they got together, him, Nicole, and Brian. They got together and got this app together to bring this to the world, not just to the United States. We talk about to the whole world, all right? And they do have people outside of the United States. So don't think they're just some little things, all right? They're, they're not. All right, they're 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 good, and we're gonna talk to them right now. So we're gonna say hi to Brian, hi Nicole, hi Don. How you doing? Hey. What up? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> all right, that is that is that is good. That is good. Listen. One thing, let's 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 go straight into fitness, all right? And one of the things that I always talk about on my show or when I'm talking to my friends, why do we wait until the new year? 
excuse me, to the new year to say we have a resolution. We're going to do our New Year's resolution. Why not do the New Year's resolution now, people? Then when the new year comes, we already looking good that New Year's Eve, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. And, let, and I want to say this before they answer. I was speaking to one of them, and I really can't forget. I really forgot. But they are really set on the mindset of the fitness and not just your body. Is that correct? Yeah. Exactly. And how does that roll in? Because that's one of the hardest things for me is to actually, I can get up in the morning and exercise, but the next day I won't do it. I'm like, I'm hurting my legs. So I'm not doing it. So how do we keep that mindset going? Anybody can answer. Don, don take that one. I, I love the way he addresses mindset, mindset and getting healthy from the inside out. Um, I think mindset is the greatest key element to anything you do in life. Um, I think it's beyond, you don't want things to feel like a responsibility. You want these things to feel like joy. You want these things to feel like, you know, when things feel like, like uh, when they feel right, when things feel right, it's so much more joyable, enjoyable to keep doing it, to keep going. So the, the key about the mindset state of mind is honestly about people finding their why and their purpose. And I think um, a lot of people don't know why or their purpose. A lot of us do things just like you brought up. Oh, why do we wait for the new year? You know, top of the year, new year, new me. It's trendy. You're doing it because other people are doing it. Most people are doing things because um, they're doing it following somebody else's goal, somebody else's journey. You have to find your journey, your purpose. Your journey can start today. Just because somebody's waiting until January 31st, I mean, January 1st, doesn't mean that was the right time for you. And I'm all about people finding um, their right time, their right point of life. And right now it could be tonight. It could be tomorrow for somebody else. But that's something that starts within um, the healing. I'm very big on the healing part. Um, I think once you figure out uh, who you are and who you see yourself becoming, you 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 kind of connect to the mindset it takes to become that person. And so that's going to start from the inside. I I didn't one day want to wake up and be like, I want to own a gym. I didn't wake up one day like, oh, I'm doing a bodybuilding. I was I, I, something that was a completely whole different driven goal for me. It started because I just wanted to make sure I could be around for my children. I wanted to be healthy enough to play one-on-one -on -one with my boys when I get older and be there, be healthy, be a part of their life. And from just that small seed, which was the has grown into the biggest tree in my life, now everything else has multiplied. The gym, the fitness, the journey. I can't stop it now because from that small tree, now I got these young children who are looking at me as a role model. So again, um, find your why, find your purpose. And once you have your why and your purpose, your mind will connect and reflect off that purpose. Most of us don't have objectives. So when you're doing something just to do it, you're mm. probably going to half-ass it. That's true. That's true. Yeah, Is that the really. first thing you talk about to your clients, with your clients, before you get into the exercise part with? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because yeah. None, of us can, none of us can want it more for you. And if you don't have the mindset, I don't care how many things I show you. If your mindset is not right, your spirit is not right about what the goal is, we won't reach anything. Because I won't be, I won't, I can't drag you out of bed. You got to make yourself get out of bed. You got to make yourself get up and eat right, do your cardio, hit the gym. I can, I mean, I'm going to give you all of me. But yeah. it doesn't matter if it ain't, if it ain't coming from within first. Oh, wow. But yes, that, Go ahead. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah, I, I was going to say, um, piggyback on what he just said, you know, a person has to want it for themselves more than you want it for them. You know, and I found myself getting caught up into, I wanted it so bad for people that I would get up in the morning, you know, an hour early and call people on the phone to make sure they're awake. You know, like, hey, get up. It's time to go. You know, I'm giving wake up calls. I want to step further. Or time I can zoom just, in, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could have just went to the gym myself and just waited. And I knew that they would, they would not show up. But instead of just letting them waste their money, I committed to myself that I was going to commit to them to make them get up. And sometimes I made them get up. And I still would go to the gym. And I'm sitting there. And they may not show up. You know? Mm -hmm. And so, and, and another thing, too. New Year's resolutions. 
New Year's resolutions is the biggest payday, the pick, the biggest paid month in the gym for personal trainers, for memberships and everything. Oh. And you'll see the, the stream. I mean, uh, the time frame would be anywhere between two to three months. And then all the members, all those new personal training uh, clients would fall off. Some of them, unless they're seriously laser focused, you know, so man, that's why everything is like, man, I'm, I'm, for the new year, I got people calling me in June talking about B next year on the new year. I'm like, what? So <laughs> I had a couple of people tell me some stuff like that. And two of my friends that told me that if they kept putting it off are no longer here to talk about it. Mm. Both of them, you know what I'm saying two of my friends died. You know what I'm saying? Before they were able to do what they set out to do. Instead of doing it today, they tried to put it off till tomorrow, then tomorrow to tomorrow, the, the next month, the next month, the next month. And now neither one of them are here anymore. So that's why I tell people, stop putting off stuff till tomorrow that you should be doing right now. And, you know, and that's but, a good point right there. Don't why why wait till tomorrow? Just go ahead and do it. Now, I, I find myself, even with myself, I find myself, like I said, I would get up and I'd get, do the exercise. As soon as it start hurting, you can, Alice, Alice didn't quit. The, the next day, I'm not getting out of bed. So, because I'm See, like, what happens, you have to, you have to change your, your, your relationship with the discomfort of that part of the journey. In order to get through, to get to a result, you're mm -hmm. going to have to experience that discomfort. Everybody will run around looking great and in optimal health if it was easy. <laughs> so sure. like, for one thing with me, when I feel my muscles getting sore, when you feel your muscles burning, that mm -hmm. means that's the result happening. But if, if we stop, we, we, it can't continue to happen. That's, that's the change happening. That's the muscle breaking down and it's going to build up. And now we're about to be burning more fat than you were the day before. But if we stop right as our body is starting to do that, we're killing our own results. So now when I feel, I feel the burn. Yes, it's uncomfortable. But when I feel it now, I know I'm like, okay, man, my glutes are burning right now because I did legs today. But I know that I'm going to be better tomorrow for the work I put into today. That discomfort. You're and I think Don says you're making deposits. You're like you're making cash deposits. That's your cash deposit. That burn. And the soreness the next day, that's that deposit. But also how you get through the soreness is you keep going. Mm -hmm. And that's how that's actually your when you feel that discomfort, that's your body getting better and getting stronger and you're you're getting the result. But okay. we're getting in the way of that if 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 we stop. So start look, start to look at it that way instead of man, it hurts. No, that's your body changing for the better. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. So for beginners out there, because maybe we're sometimes the beginners do too much, okay? Because I think mm -hmm. I started off doing cardio. I have a, I bought a treadmill, so I try to run. I don't, I'm not a runner, right? But I love mm. to walk. So I walk on the treadmill and then somebody say, well, you need to run. So I start running. Then I turn around and no. I have to do right after that, I do the um, strength training. So now I'm doing arms and legs and I'm trying to do yoga all in the same time. And that's why I think the next day I don't want to do it. So for the beginners, somebody like me, what is it that we y'all laugh because y'all know <laughs> y'all see us in the gym trying to do every machine in there, right? But what is it do you think beginners need to do so we're not hurting ourselves and we're not getting burned out or we we want to do it the next day? What is the step for that? Get a, get a coach. Yeah, number one. <laughs> yes. Get a coach. Okay. Hire and invest in a coach because when when a pipe breaks in the house, we how we hire a plumber. When something goes mm -hmm. wrong with our car, we're not up under the hood at least not these days anymore with the cars <laughs> where they are. So we hire an expert for everything else. Why try to figure things out on your own when it comes to your health and fitness? You can waste and when will waste a lot of time spinning your wheels. If you don't have, yeah, you have a, there's three of us here, experts uh, over, over all of us, decades of experience combined. When you come to us say, okay, what's your goal? Here is the blueprint. Here's the plan. And all you got to do is take action. So that's, I do agree. That's, that's step one. Two, focus on being consistent more than I got to do this crazy workout today and I'm going to get all because I haven't been working out for a few years. Let me get it all in the day. No, let's focus on getting consistent three days a week, doing being active three days a week. And we can build up to the crazy stuff and have, you know, you want to hang from the ceiling. We could do that. But start start with when I, I, I agree, higher coach that also minimizes your risk for injury, but focus on being consistent. Consistency trumps crazy hard workouts every time. 
Oh, and, yeah. and, and, and it's not the same for everyone, right? Everybody has a different no. regimen or different um, program to go through. I, I have a young lady. Yeah. Um, she weighed over 200, way over 200 pounds. Um, she, and before she lost her weight, she's lost the weight now, but before she lost her weight, she got a coach. And in that whole year, she only lost five pounds the whole year. So it was well, frustrating yeah, her, which made her stop doing it. And then she found yeah. somebody else and they was able to help her. I mean, it just depends. Again, coaching is not, it doesn't mean every person is good at what they do. Sometimes you got to, you know, shop around until you find the right chemistry, um, the connection, um, because uh, beyond what they're teaching you, the key is not just to be an instructor. Our whole goal is to truly educate you so you can take away the knowledge that you need to become, so this becomes a lifestyle. We want people to make this a lifestyle. I don't want to just be training or you think, oh, my coach got me on a diet. We don't believe in diets. What I want to do is just show you how to transition from one state of one way of living to another it's just going to be a healthier state of living a better so you, state of living for yourself so you guys actually give out meal plans as well with your program or you help i wouldn't them. call it a meal plan no um, i i would like don's we we're showing you how to eat the lifestyle I mean, okay think of it like this if i just nick i need a meal plan i shoot you a meal plan well you do that but then the second you maybe you're, you're no longer coaching with us, now you don't know how to eat if you're not on that plan. We're showing you how to eat, how to put together your own meals, how to structure meals, how to grocery shop, how to pick your foods. That way you're able to continue. We want you to be able to continue on even when you're no longer working with us. And that's going to take you a lot further. Then that's why a lot of that's why a lot of um, this, these programs out here are broken, because if I just I give you something and then you can't you can't you don't know what to eat or how to eat. Without me, I feel like I'm not really helping you. True. True. Mm -hmm. that, that is that is that is that, that that's 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 some good information right there, especially for the beginners. Um, three days a week is the start. Get yourself a coach for once because I guess that make that would make sense to get a coach, right? Um oh, yeah. as Nicole says we we get a somebody for our house to get a pipe broken, we're gonna hire a plumber. So why not take care of this yeah. right here and hire a professional to help us? That's, 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 you said it in your, yeah, you, you said it yourself. Most people quit the gym. Most people quit their memberships. They quit because they go to the gym and they get discouraged because they don't know what to do. They literally, you know what I mean? People, I sign up at my gym and they just like, I don't know what none of these machines do. That's why I don't go. So it's okay to be educated. It is literally okay to be educated. And you have more fun. You ever been playing a game? And you felt weird when everybody else knew how to win play. We talking about back in the day when you first learned spades. Everybody, it was fun. Everybody just kicking your butt. But you could, it was, it sucked to you because you just didn't know what you were doing. Right. This is the same way about fitness. If you know what you're doing, it is fun. It's only not fun when you got no clue about what's going on. Oh, and I still don't know how to play spades. So <laughs> <laughs> nobody wants me as a partner. <laughs> Because you're, you're gonna renege. You're gonna renege. That's actually a, that's a really good analogy. I like that. That is. That is. That is. I'm gonna renege. I'm gonna mess it up. And I gotta have somebody go behind me reading my cards to me. Say, okay, throw that hand out. This is what you need to do next. Oh, that, that's, that is a good analogy. Now we having fun. Now, now, now we having we're having fun. fun. You know. Um, uh -huh. So let's let's talk about the gym. Now, gym versus, and we have a lot of this now because of COVID or post-COVID, pre-COVID, post-COVID, um, a lot of people don't want to go to the gym. So can coaches work from the home or is it you really need to get to the gym so we can get these machines? So let's talk about that. Home versus the gym. Oh. Well, home versus the gym is just literally about what's available. Um, I think you can accomplish goals from home with a gym we have a little bit more of a variety of things we can introduce you to, mm -hmm. but we still have a great home gym workout. Plan. We do have uh, body workouts you can do, um, rubber bands, light dumbbell work, pull-ups. You know, there's so many different um, things you can do literally from your house. You can make into equipment. A chair is now a dip machine. You know, a couch is now, you know, elevated push-ups, you know. Okay. The phone froze, Don. 
but I, I'll I'll piggyback on where he was going. But the what what works best for you is what's best. What's going to keep you consistent is what's best because we we have clients who have results working virtually, you know, through through the app, and then we have clients who see results going into the gym. So it's really just what works best for you. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. All right. So once again, I am speaking with Nicole and Brian Jenkins, Brian and Nicole Jenkins. And I'm also speaking with um, Bishop Don. Y'all guys, y'all know him from the Black Ink Crew, um, Chicago version VH1. Is it VH1? Yeah, VH1. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. um, and and yeah. they got together to do live, I'm sorry, to live, train, and eat fitness app. Um, they just had their launch a couple of weeks ago. It's been about a couple of weeks, I think. And it was a successful event. I really enjoyed myself. Um, and let's let's go into your new app. I like this, all right? So the app is more of what? So Because you want them to come to the gym, but if they can't get to the gym, they can use the app to get the exercise yes. that they need to. Yeah, so we want people who are in the area and would like to go to the gym, we want them to come to Apex Universe. To Don, to Don's gym, the physical physical location. If they're not in that area, or they can't make it to the gym, or they're anywhere in the world, we're able to work with them through the Live Train Eat Fitness app. And how it works is this is through the app is where we deliver. You open up your dashboard. Uh, let's first thing in the morning, and you see your workout is there already there for the day. All you have to do is tap it. It shows all three of us demonstrating any of the exercises. You track the weight that you lifted. Um, it tracks your personal best. Our app tracks the, the data, the analytics. It knows uh, how much you lifted a week ago. And if you lifted more this week, it gives you a high five. We also have daily habits and goals. Uh, drink a, Aim to drink a gallon of water a day. We don't say you have to, but make it a goal. And you check those off as you go. We get your nutrition plan through there and nutrition tracking. Now, we don't have, like Don said, we don't put people on diets. And we don't do calorie tracking. If someone wants to do that, it does connect to my fitness pal and a couple other personal devices so it can track if they want to, but that's not something that we stress. But the way we have you track your meals, you take pictures. So take pictures of your, your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, and your snacks. And that just helps you so you can become aware of how you're eating. A lot of people are eating mindlessly don't even taste their food, let them know, let alone how know what they ate or how much they ate because we're eating and texting, we're eating and scrolling, we're eating and driving, we're eating and watching something. So we, we're just shoveling things back, you know what I mean? So we want you to become aware. All of that, all of that data is tracked in the app. And another benefit is that you have access to us 24 seven to message us. So you can message us, hey, I don't understand what this exercise is, hey, uh, I'm at this restaurant. I don't know what to eat. You know, hey, text me a picture of the, uh, send me a picture of the menu. Help you, help you order. So you're you're able to have that access to us for us to help you with accountability and everything you need. So that's included with the app to get access to you like that. Cause that's 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 that seems like that's a yeah. little bit much for you guys. I, it's wonderful for us, but it may be a little bit much for you guys. <laughs> Well, I, I wouldn't say it's too much because, you know, during certain hours, of course, we're sleeping, but, and that will be on do not disturb. But as soon as we wake up in the morning, we'll see those we're, text we'll messages sure and we go right to them. We start answering everybody's questions and everything. So, but, and another thing about the app, if you say, if I made you a workout and you say, hey, I don't know how to do this exercise, you click on that particular exercise, you'll see myself, my wife, or Bishop Dunn doing a full demonstration of how to do the exercise properly without hurting yourself. Yes. Yeah, so, so these workouts are you work at your own pace. They're not follow along like a class. Okay. Because when you're when you're lifting weights and you're doing these exercises, let's say Brian and I are we're he's teaching a class and I'm trying to keep up with him. Well, his arms are longer than mine. His tempo is going to be different than mine. I'm trying to go go fast and keep up with him, but I really need to be lifting slower because I'm trying to move at my pace. So you go at your own pace through the workout and then we're able to um, help help coach you through the entire thing. So all of that is available within the app. Your meals, your coaching, your mi mindset. We're working with the therapist to put together some affirmation and meditation coaching. So every that's extremely robust and everything is through the app. And it's phenomenal. I, I love meditation. And, and you brought up something that I think is very important, especially for my listeners. 
that when you're exercising, and even though you're showing the exercise, go at your own pace. You don't have to rush and do what the other what what you see the instructor doing because this person may have been doing it for 20 years. All right, we just getting into it, right? Right. Yeah. We want you to focus on form first. Form over everything. Form over lifting heavy. Form over because if your form is if your form is incorrect, it increases your risk for injury. And you're not going to be building the muscle the way you want. We want to build that muscle so we can burn fat and lose fat. Oh, yeah. And oh, that, yeah. that's the most important thing, losing the fat, right? So yes. and, and this has always Think been well. a debate. Um, when you're working out and you're trying to lose the weight, is it that you do cardio first or you do strength first? Ooh, that's a good question. I was going to do a reel about that. Well, actually, <laughs> actually, we do. We start with cardio. You know, first, the first thing that we do is cardio and we do it fasted cardio, which is you don't eat anything. Well, it depends on the person's schedule. Well, so we're, we're tr we have a specific training goal. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're trying to reach like a crazy goal. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm training for a fitness competition. So I, oh, I totally the, different. what I'm talking about. So and I'm not I didn't mean to interrupt. You. No, it's all good. You always do that. I'm used to it. I was <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I, I would say, so for, for example, we do it first thing in the morning before we have okay. breakfast, but we also go eat breakfast and we back on our weight training. So the average person is, does not have time. Like we're, we're in fitness. So um, our schedule is, you know, around fitness. But, but we do, yeah. if, if, if you're like, let's say you, you want to go to the gym, you're working out. I say before or after what, however you can get it done consistently. And what I mean is there was a time when I was doing my cardio before my workout. It was kind of my warm up before I would start strength training. Well, that's how I got it done consistently. But okay. then I read that you burn more fat if you do it after your strength training. So do strength training first. Well, I noticed that when I was doing my strength training first and doing my cardio afterwards, by that time I was tired. And a lot of times I would just go and not do the cardio. <laughs> so for me, uh, my answer is however you get it done consistently. I was trying to do it at the end so I could burn more fat, but then I was only doing it a couple of days a week because by the time I reached the end of the workout, I'm ready to go home and eat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, that brings me to when you're working out, so you're working the muscles, you're doing your cardio, you're doing your strength training. So we hear a lot about when you get through, you need to feed yourself. You need to have a protein shake. Is that still true? Yes. 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 Within the kept the uh the time frame from when you stop working out and before um to have a protein shake within thirty minutes of the time that you stop working out for it to be most effective that way it feeds the muscles and it depends what's in it. Now that's a big one because we we don't take certain proteins oh. because it's a lot of chemicals, a lot of different stuff that's in some of these proteins and that if, a lot of people don't know about. And then some of the pro like if someone goes like a. a a smoothie bar to get a protein shake. Sometimes those are with a bunch of extra stuff. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, so we take one. Um, it's called uh, what's the name of this? Orgain. Yes, we we, got... we we do a vegan protein shake. Like this powder. So we we don't we don't get go get anything made. Nothing in the blender. We don't put any milk. Is just water and the protein powder. So we do powder. We do one that's vegan. Um, called Orgain, like like Brian mentioned, yeah. and we also do an egg white protein powder too i do one and i think i, I drink it just to be drinking because it tastes so good to me but i oh, do tell me it's muscle milk. no it's a protein shake it's a it's a it's a protein shake but i add almond milk or oat milk to it because i don't like it with just water for some reason i don't drink regular okay. so that you would consider that okay yeah yeah almond milk oat milk is cool okay very, very good. Let's into people. We we're gonna get into our um 60 day challenge that's coming up. They have a 60 day challenge coming up on December the 5th. You have until December the 11th to oh, actually November. join it. Is it November. 11th? No, November. Oh, November. November. I get I, I went way out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> way out. So let me make sure I'm making my notes because I put it in the description but okay so november the 11th they have a fitness challenge 60 day fitness challenge that they're going to go ahead and you can actually win two thousand dollars so they're going to tell us how you can win this two thousand dollars how you can join this challenge and if you haven't so far please go over to the play store or to the is are you on um the app store for um 
The Apple. iPhone, the Apple. Yes. So go over there to yep. Live, Train, and Eat Fitness and download the app right now because you definitely want to join that challenge. So tell us some more about the 60-day fitness challenge. I think I want to do this one. <laughs> of course you do. Don, Don, you want to kick it off? You, you were in the middle of a really great point, and then we, we lost your signal. Right. Yo, 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 you got uh, no idea. <laughs> Your, your, yeah, your, iPhone, just me your up. iPhone 6, bro, your iPhone 6 ain't, ain't keep it up with us no more. No, 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 Man, no, no. <laughs> that's, that's iPhone, I'm telling y'all, yeah. I'm an Android lover. Y'all need to go ahead and get some Androids and put them iPhones down. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, can't do it. Can't do it. Uh, well, no, the 68 Challenge is going to be phenomenal. Honestly, like, what we're, what we're going to do in this process, again, is what we always love to do. Number one, educate you help you transition, help you make this thing a norm. This 60 days is just to prep you for the rest of your life. We want you to fall in love with fitness when you spend it 60 days with this team and this family. So we're not, again, we're not just about you losing weight. We're about changing you. We're about a full transformation. We want to see people transform. And that means gaining muscle, becoming healthier. Uh, this 60 days could save some lives. I don't even think people know like how, much can change about you in 60 days of, of, of a committed 60 days to self. So we're going to show you how to be, <laughs> I, I want this to be, some things got to be selfish. Sometimes taking care of yourself has to be a priority. So we're going to take this next 60 days to show you how to prioritize yourself. That's what this challenge is about, making yourself number one, a number, your number one priority, your health, your energy, uh, your spirit, your mind, Everything we're gonna show you how to make your you number feeling like number one is about yourself, and by making yourself number one, you'll become better. And by becoming better, you now have something to pour into others around you. So if you're not at your best, there's no way you can pour out into the people around you, people in your community, yeah. Yeah. people in your home. So I wanted to become my top version of myself. My team is working on constantly becoming our top version of ourselves, so we have more to spread to give to others. If you ain't got nothing within, you ain't got nothing to give out. So let's take this 60 days and turn all the way up, change our bodies, change our minds, uh, reverse these uh, chronic issues, get rid of some diabetes, get rid of, you know, uh, some people are 60 days away from debating about surgery or having to go on the needle or just, man, I might be able to, man, I might not need surgery if I take these next 60 days serious. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm scared for my people who, you know, laying on the table ain't for everybody. Mm -hmm. Some people might not make it off the table. That is true. And I, I, I fear for that. And that's why I never push any of you beautiful women for any cosmetic. I don't care what it is. I never push surgery on you. I never make you feel like you need it. It's a scary thing. But some of us might need it because we're just at a, a level of health issues mm -hmm. that the doctor's like, you got to lose it now. Right. And so this 60 days might keep you from having to get on the table. This 60 days <laughs> may save your life or save someone else's life that you know may need it. So, you know, we want people, if they don't feel like they need it, we want you to share it. Share with a family member, share with a cousin, share with a mom, share with an aunt. Let us be a blessing to somebody. Let us save thousands of lives as we intend to. So if you can't be you, you might know somebody. I'm sure we all know somebody. Yeah. Maybe Auntie Shirley, might be Cousin Earl. <laughs> I don't care who it is. Send it, send him our link, send him our information. Let us be a blessing to somebody. You know what? My mom listens to this. She's gonna be like, Oh, he's talking about me because her name is Auntie Shirley. So you just started a whole new mess. <laughs> I'm gonna get you for that. <laughs> <laughs> but on a 60 day challenge, or do we need any equipment? Because I'm actually gonna do this, people. I'm actually gonna do the 60 day challenge. I have never did a 60 day challenge before. I haven't even did a 30 day challenge. So I'm gonna I'm do it. I'm gonna take this a is, and everything. And do it. And this is recorded. So we got you recorded. Making the commitment. Ever listeners, we, we heard it here, right? Okay. <laughs> Let me sure we heard well I heard Alice. Look, let's go. Look, for YouTubers at the end of this, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put my before picture at the end of the six day. This is the best part because I just brought up New Year's Eve. This takes you into New Year's Eve. So you're looking good for oh New God, Year's God. Eve. And it's taking you into your New Year's resolution. So you yeah, didn't already yeah. start it. You don't even know all about this, right? All right. <laughs> exactly. Any equipment? You, know, our, our, you you don't need any equipment. Okay. They're, they're, we have, we cover everything. That's one great thing about having three coaches is that we have 
body weight workouts in there. We have, if you're working out at home, you just have dumbbells. We have dumbbell workouts. If you get to the gym, we have workouts with gym equipment. There is so much variety. You know, uh, some people, you know, they, they hop in something that, oh, it's just for home or it's just for gym. If it's home or gym, pick what works best for you. But we have the workouts in there that have got you covered through the challenge. Uh, what, one of the main reasons that we decided 60 days, not just to get through the holidays to avoid that weight gain, but why not start January already ahead? Let's set another goal. Okay, we got we got weight out the way, or we got our body out the way. Let's set some bigger, you know, some other goals besides this one thing we we all commit to loosely, like Don mentioned at the beginning. And because you know, because everyone else is, we kind of feel the peer pressure, like everybody else won't lose. But I guess I'm, you know, you're really not in it. Right. So why not start? You know, by the second week of January you already got some stuff accomplished. You're ahead in 2023. Why not start ahead mm -hmm. versus starting the year off hungover and overweight and feeling like crap and guilty from yeah. all the stuff we ate and drank throughout the holidays. We're, we're eliminating all of that. Yes, we're, we're going to enjoy the holidays. We're not putting nobody on a diet through the holidays. We don't do diets anyway. <laughs> but, um, we wanted, we're still going to enjoy the food we love. We're still going to take it we're still going to have our new years, but when you're active throughout those holidays or we're, we're staying active and you're accountable and you're, you have the goal set and you're committed, it's going to feel a lot different than the other years where we just kind of, yeah. oh, I'll get to it when I get to it. Yeah, it's going to feel different. It's going to look different. You're going to feel better. You know what I'm saying? Man, We our, our commitment, our mission, when we first started this, I said, guys, I said, man, let's, let's think about how many people do we want to help. First, we said two, 300 people. That's not enough. Then we said 500. That's, mm -hmm. that's not enough. Then we said 1,000. No, we want to help 1 million or more people to live a longer, healthier life. That's why we call it the strongest for the longest because we want you to be as strong as you can for as long as you can. You know what I'm saying? We want you to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. It's way it's bigger, going down. Way bigger than that. Just that is so true. I have a trip I'm going for my birthday. My birthday is next year. I would be the big five seven and I want to go to Paris. So I want to look good when I go to Paris so I can have my photo shoot. So I said, well, why am I waiting until January when I need to go ahead and get started now? Right? Because now right. I'm starve go. myself come March, which I do every year. I starve myself because my birthday is April 13th. So by the end of March, I'm starving myself. So I'm not eating at all. Which now my friend of mine told me she said your, your, your metabolism is probably out of whack the way that you're doing your body. So yeah. and, and yeah. before yeah. we go into how you all met since Don is back now, let's talk about the metabolism, right? How important is that? And, and if you don't have metabolism or it's, if it's jacked up, how can you fix it? Can it be fixed? Because I don't even know if it can be fixed. Yes. Uh, it, yes. it can be fixed. And metabolism is the greatest part of this entire process you see because with a properly operated metabolism uh, you will use your nutrients for all the right resources your body will move it around the correct way uh you also be able to obtain your nutrients that you need through your uh through the way that you eat so that's where you're getting stronger you're getting healthier but you're also able to burn um with the metabolism working properly um, this is where you see uh, your body not holding on to unnecessary uh, food, gas, waste, you know, and storing it. Well, so what happens is because your metabolism is usually out of whack, your body will start storing almost anything you eat. And then it stores it as fat because it's not sure of the next time it's going to receive its nutrients, when the next time you're going to eat. So in order to survive, it will store the food. So what happens is when y'all go on these long periods of fasting and starving yourself, yeah, you like, oh, girl, I lost some weight. No, nah, you probably lost, yeah, you lost something. <laughs> but you didn't lose what you wanted to lose. You know what I'm saying? So um, the whole goal is not to starve yourself, you guys. That's why we are, when we teach you about eating and living strong for the longest, we're not telling you to, evaporate all foods take all all things yes some things are not good for you we're we're number one against processed food we're number one against that fast food line mcdonald's you know just wait you know burger king all that so we're like no but we're, we're telling you there's fun ways to eat the things you love better in a better way and you want to eat more often because if your body i tell people my favorite way of putting it your body is that rolls royce it ain't going over without no gas 
But guess what? You can't put 87 in no Rolls Royce either. You can't go to just, uh, what's that, Mobile T or Mobile Chucks. You better pull up the BP or Shell <laughs> and get some real gas and put, get that 93. But you, you know what, just in- I, I, not to cut you off, but I want to say this because I know it's a lot of people that's just like me. You know, I'm a healthy girl, but I swear I eat probably once a day and I snack the rest of the day. Because I cannot that's sit it. down and eat a full meal. I try. I don't eat breakfast. I have my coffee. That's oh, it. Oh, no. And I, I, but you have to understand, when I do eat my lunch, I can't even eat a full lunch. And I eat a salad. And I cannot eat that full salad. I have a friend. Her name is Giovanna. Giovanna says, mm. Alice, you got to be able to eat everything. You got to have so many calories in your body. But how can mm-hmm. I make myself eat it when I feel full already? Jacked up, but understand this: the she body needs fuel. <laughs> it is. I know. You gotta realize this: the body needs fuel to do the fat burning. If it doesn't have the calories it needs, it has to exert energy. So your body doesn't even have the energy it needs to burn the fat off of you. Mm. Yeah, you literally work. That's why I say your body's like a car. It's not going to do none of the things it's supposed to do if it's not getting the right gas in it, getting the right nutrients in it. On top of that, not getting enough nutrients. You ain't making it. You can't make it to Mississippi on a half a tank. No, you can't. But it, again, I guess it goes back to the mindset. So I have to get up and teach myself to eat breakfast or eat some oatmeal yeah. or something because I just don't do it. You know, and I and I mix some oatmeal it will help. On it and I eat half of it. The other half is gone, and it's just a package, right? It'll start setting the tone for your day. That, Look, the way you starting off your day is where you're gonna finish. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something that this this dude showed me about the metabolism a long time ago. So when you're sleeping, the metabolism is at a even keel. When you wake up and you eat breakfast, it spikes up, and then after like two to three hours, it starts to go back down. But instead, don't let it go all the way down. Eat another meal within that time frame, it spikes back up, and then it'll start to go down again. With two to three hours, it starts to go down. Eat something else, it spikes back up. So that way your metabolism will be constantly burning all day, you know. But if you let it just go flat line, that's exactly what it's going to do. It's not going to burn anything. You're not going to lose any weight, anything. But you'll lose some weight, but you also lose muscle, you'll too. Muscle. You'll be losing mm-hmm. muscle. You don't want to lose no muscle. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep that metabolism on track, you know. Eat every two to three hours, small portions. Yeah, you don't have you to know. eat a meal meal. Yeah. See, we're, we we say eat five to six times a day, but you don't have to eat like a meal. But every basically everything that you told us you were doing, we're like boom, boom, yep. Every everything that you're doing is slowing down your metabolism. And as we're getting older, and I'm, I'm 42 years old, so <laughs> as we're getting older, ladies, our best friend is muscle. Nothing, nothing is more important than that muscle. That's what helps keep our metabolism up on top of food. That's what keeps everything high and tight and keep it from sagging and wagging and dragging. Mm-hmm. So we want that muscle. So like Brian was mentioning, first thing in the morning, Don said it too, we got to start kick the day off with breakfast. It's called breakfast because we're breaking the fast we had while we were sleeping. And mm-hmm. that's what's going to jumpstart your metabolism in the morning. You don't have to eat. Egg. You don't even have to eat eggs if you don't if like if you don't like eggs or oatmeal. I know a lot of people egg yeah. whites. Oatmeal. You don't have to eat that if you want. Eat some chicken. Have a protein shake. Have something with a serving of protein and maybe fruit like a carb. But to start your day, that's going to give you more energy too. Your energy can't be that great if you're not eating that much. No, it's not. Unless you're living off caffeine or some artificial. I'm living off caffeine, but I love coffee. So I could drink coffee all day long. At night, that's, I have that's green tea. So green tea yeah. and ginger is what I have at night. And then that, and eventually that will make you crash. So the answer for you, mm. you got to get your metabolism rev back up. But definitely start with yeah. breakfast. Have something. Have that lunch. And, and, and I know you're saying, well, I can't even eat that much food. Yeah, because your metabolism has tanked. <laughs> So mm-hmm. you almost have to be trained. Yes, yes. We you almost have to force yourself to eat something. It doesn't have to be a lot of food. Eat something. Have a snack. Handful of almonds as a snack. Have a dinner. It doesn't have to be a lot. But as you start doing that and you're retraining your body to consume that food, and your body's getting the nutrients now. And Don mentioned that your metabolism needs nutrients to function. Once you start doing that, now you're gonna wake up hungry. Your body's gonna be like, okay, where's breakfast? 
but you have to get through that period of retraining your body to burn fat the way that it's supposed to. Even building muscle, if you're strength training and you're not feeding your body, you're spinning mm -hmm. your wheels. You're on a hamster wheel. You're not going to go anywhere. And you're just going to get frustrated and want to quit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How does that work with intermittent fasting then? Is I hear I hear a lot of people are doing it and they're losing weight from it because they, I think they do 16, 8 now or, yeah, 16, 8. So how, how, how does that work? Because you can't eat if you're fasting, right? So you have to cram all the like food in eight dance. hours. Huh? I, I like that dance I like that dance to the intermittent fasting. But we get asked this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, intermittent fasting is, I'm telling you guys, it's not it. It's, it's you, again, you're not putting fuel in the body. You know what you're burning? You're burning away all the good pieces of you. That's what your body is going to go. It's going to go after all the great qualities first. So what your body, when they be like, "Well, I'm losing weight," yeah, you're losing a whole lot of muscle. You're losing a whole lot of nutrients your body been storing up. So yeah, you're gonna lose it. But guess what? You're not getting tight. They're, they're not getting like muscular. Their frame is not looking full. They they looking thin. You know, and the minute you go like, "You go, you okay?" Because that's gonna be the next question. You good? You all right? You want this something? You know what I mean? So, so <laughs> you know, that's what that fasting does to the body. So, again, uh, you're shutting down your metabolism. You're not putting that 93. You're not putting that premium gas in your body. So you're not going to maintain muscle. You're not going to have healthy brain function. You're not going to have energy. You're not going to be able to focus. So you're literally putting your body in a tortured state. And then what happens? I'm going to tell you once again. For everybody that's viewing, what happens is the first time you eat anything that has, especially if it has a little bit of fat in it, a little bit of uh, whatever, your body is going to store it. A little sugar. Because your body is like, oh, give me that sugar. Give me that food because I don't know the next time you're going to give it to me. So it's going to hold on to it and it's not even going to move it through the body how it needs to. It's going to disperse it in ways it thinks it needs to versus your body being under a full, uh, under its full functioning, uh, operational point so fasting i tell people all the time it's okay for a day or two to detox the body flush it out drink some water you're kind of like reflushing but beyond that it's not good it's not a good lifestyle state of mind so a good fast i could see it for maybe a day just mm -hmm. to reset the body drink a lot of water um detoxing let me let the body suck up whatever's left in me real quick and then reset uh, that next day, but anything beyond a day, I don't find it helpful. Oh, very good. Um, before we get out of here, I do want to talk about the um, Live Train and Eat app. And I know you all came together to do this. How did y'all come together to do this? How did y'all did y'all know each other already? You decided, well, we're going to do it. But how did y'all come together? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll kick it off. So um, when COVID happened, you know, me and my wife, we both were training people in person. At, at that time and then well right before COVID I lost my ability to walk I uh I ruptured both of my quadricep tendons completely away from both of my kneecaps walked into the Apple store downtown Chicago and um so I couldn't do anything for myself I couldn't take a shower I couldn't undress myself I couldn't walk I couldn't do anything at all and so my wife she was working for a company that laid her off after she had been home taking care of me for three months so at the time was going on we started having to dig into our savings and I'm like, wow, man, how could this shut us down like this? You know, so my wife was like, well, let's build. Well, she she came up with the concept of have this app built. And so she did while I couldn't walk. I still couldn't walk. And everything just came to, man, just came to real life last September when we got it approved on the Google Play Store and the Apple Store. And it's just been a blessing ever since then. And Bishop Don, me and Bishop Don and Ryan and Ford and all the guys, Black Ink, we have been working out through COVID, you know what I'm saying, all the way through COVID after my doctor gave me the clearance that I could go back and work out. Bishop Dunn, Four, Ryan, um, they used to have to pick me up, keep my arms around their shoulders, and walk me up the stairs so I wouldn't fall down the stairs because all I could do was upper body at the time. You know what I'm saying? So, man, it's just been a long journey, and, and I've just seen how real Bishop Dunn was, Four, Ryan, you know what I'm saying? The whole crew was so real. I looked up to these dudes, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm 55, they're like 
25 years younger than me, but I looked up to them as being real people, real passionate. You know what I'm saying? They not stuck up like, you know, you, you see some of these movie stars and, and TV stars, reality talk, TV, TV stars, and they're like, they're not humble. This dude is the biggest, humblest dude that I know. You know what I'm saying? We'll give you the shirt off his back if you didn't have it. You know, so that's how we connected. And then I said, man, I said, baby, who can we partner with? And then it just made so much sense because he got his Apex Gym rolling. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, let's get somebody who's already already into fitness. And I heard him speak on it a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, wow. I'm like, man. I said, he sound good with this fitness thing. I said, man, let's bring him in on a partnership. So we brought him in on the partnership, 50-50, all the way down. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's just been rolling ever since. You know what I'm saying? We have no regrets whatsoever, Listen, period. Something that was very, very important to me, especially, was partnering with someone who had similar ideas, ideals when it came to fitness. Some coaches mm-hmm. out here are willing to get you a result by any means necessary, sacrificing your health, throwing you on kinds of pills and fat burners and diet things that you don't need to take to get you that result. We would never do that. Don would not do that. I, I like the fact that he's had his own transformation and it's been public. <laughs> you People have literally seen him transform yeah. as a person on television. And it's so much, and it and started with the inside. Our big thing is getting healthy from the inside out. And the fact that he had those same, those same principles, I'm like, man, this is going to really work. You know, someone who's not going to want to put people on, on diet, someone who's not going to, oh, you need to add extra hours to get you to it. No, we got to start from the inside. Okay, you did this last program. Let's talk about the mindset. Why did you fall off? The answer to that, you know, the answer to that question is, oh, I did a program and I fell off. The answer to that isn't, okay, we'll try this workout. No, it's something deeper. And I like the fact that he digs deeper. That was so important. And the mindset, the mindset is more important than the workouts and the, the nutrition. That's his execution. But we yeah. got we to gotta start dealing with the, with the issues we have going on inside. I, I think we, um, I, earlier we were talking about you know, stress eating, stress. We're going into the seasonal depression season. People yeah. get sad being around or stressed out being around family. They get sad because family's not around. They get stressed out with the holidays. What are we reaching for? Alcohol, food. You know, we, we got to get down to what's going on inside of us first. Then we execute. That's what our big thing is transformation, literally transformation from the inside out. And he has those same principles as we do. I'm like, man, this couldn't be any better. Don, I don't yeah. tell you that to your face a whole lot, but I talk about you all the time. Yeah. I'm like, awesome. man. Thank you. That, 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 is, that, that, is, that is really, really <laughs> That is. That is that is actually awesome. Listen, uh, go ahead. It's It's... No, I was going to say it's an amazing partnership. It's an amazing family that we built. And um, that makes it easier for us to share our ideals and share the same energy and put it into our clients and our community and our family. Uh, literally, uh, we all have, have been uh, attacked uh, by the work of social life, by a pandemic, by uh, the insecurities that Instagram can create, social media can create for so many of us. And we're here to be that humbling reminder and that shield of support that people need to get to the next steps in life. And that's the greatest thing. So with our app, it's an amazing thing because you have 24 hour communication, not saying we'll answer <laughs> we hours of the night, but just saying that you have the ability to reach us at any point of time, any, any for any type of questions, any form of support um, from the app to our community lines, all the way down to this app is so unique because virtually it's not just a typical app where it's like, oh, let me read my plan. No, you're getting videos. You're getting us talking through it with you. You're seeing your coaches. Your coaches, we're not telling you to do something that you're not able to see us do. You're not uh, getting a workout that you don't see one of us try to do first and teach you how to do it. Um, so the virtual part is amazing. Um, and the community base, the, 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 just a, uh, the check-ins, how it's so adaptive to your watch, to your mm. phone. So it lets me know every time you did your workout and when you haven't been touching the gym, when you haven't been doing your walking or your cardio or eating. So now as your coach, I can check in. Hey, is everything okay? We see you haven't worked out at all this week. Are you okay? Are you fine? Are you mentally okay? So 
this it's for us it gives us a different level of coaching so a lot of our clients feel like we're right next door they feel like we're in the same city with them um and then we're doing our once a week coaching calls through our for our clients where every thursday we're able to check in with everyone get a feedback get a uh, feel for what they need what do they need from us what more do they need from us to help them continue to maintain their goals so our app is is one of the uh, by far uh virtually or any any app that you can find us talk about physical fitness i think we have definitely surpassed and hitting the mark on what a fitness app should look like um and that's the greatest part about it uh it's it, we got so many different features and so many things you can get from my app from ebooks to ad challenges to uh even just a ebook just about dieting a mindset anything you need we have resourceful we have put it in a position to be uh, to be resource resources for our clients, and the memberships vary. So you got three different packages. So the thing about it is, each package can fit that person's lifestyle, time, and need um, of what they need. So some people just need a little bit more. So we have a different program for those people who need that little bit more push and that little bit more support. You got some people just like, hey, it's all good, D. I just need your workouts, bro. I'm trying to look like you. I just need the workouts. I say less. Here you go. You know what I mean? So um, that's what make our app so unique and so uh, phenomenal and that you're dealing with real people doing real things. So I, I like it because our app has made us it's just as personal as social media would be, just as personal as Facebook or IG would be. Um, that's what makes our app so dope and phenomenal, guys. So you guys need to download our app ASAP. Hey, Get the link. If join the 60 day challenge. Yes. And and join join it. It. Listen, listen. But listen, once again, I have Brian and Nicole Jenkins here and Bishop Don. Um, this is this has been an awesome, awesome time. I hope you guys actually enjoyed this. Listen, if you have not downloaded the app yet, go to the Google Store, go to the App Store on on, on the Apple and, and download Live Train Eat. Fitness. You also want to go to their website, which is strongestforthelongest.com. You also, if you're in Chicago, Don is going to go ahead because he didn't tell us, but he has the Apex Gym that's here located in the Chicago area. Where can they find that gym, Don? Uh, it's 7709 West Belmont Avenue, Elmwood Park, Illinois. Again, 77, 7709 uh, West Belmont. Avenue, Elmwood Park, Illinois. Okay. So y'all get over there. Y'all get a chance to see um, Bishop Don from the Black Ink Crew of Chicago. And I've seen, I seen all of them. They, they, they're going to put y'all to shame, so you better come in there ready to work. I can tell you that. All right. And you want to make sure that they <laughs> join their 60-day challenge, which has come up. I, I said December, but it's actually November the 5th. Is that correct? You have until the 11th. That's Friday. Right. Next Friday, if you have until the 11th to actually join, I am the hand up to God. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to join the challenge. I've never did a challenge. I have never even posted pictures of me before and after. So um, one thing I feel, and I think that's, that's how a lot of people get to lose away, especially women. We post these pictures. Now I'm, a, I'm committed because I got to show something that I didn't do something. Right. Um, but they, oh, yeah. they probably, I'm going to tell you, like, y'all know what's going to be the most Headache part, they're gonna be sick of me because they were like that heifer right there. She is so hard here. Because <laughs> my favorite thing hey. in the whole world are these these I call them cabbage patch kids, but they sour patch kids. I can eat that all day long. Um, yeah, I know, I know. That's why my metabolism know, is all just a couple up. of days, just a couple of days. <laughs> hey, but I am gonna enjoy. I want to go enjoy. Go ahead. What so so I just want everybody to know that we 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 uh, success loves speed. So the first 100 people to go ahead and join our fitness challenge will be entered to win 2,000 of them things. What's those things? What's those things? $2,000. Cash $2, money. Let's go. Stop playing with it. Sign up right now. Not right now, but right now. Y'all better try to beat me. That's all I'm <laughs> telling you. I, I need 2,000 of them things, okay? So y'all better try to get in there and beat me out. Listen, my, my people are like, 
Alice, you know, usually you, you are in and out. I'm like, this conversation has been wonderful. Y'all have given us some great information. Y'all definitely know what you're talking about. I'm definitely downloading this app. I'm definitely joining this challenge. I'm definitely going to hit that website, strongestforthelongest.com. Um, I'm going to have to get a camera and come over there and sneak and see if Don is over actually exercising or he just saying he exercises. Come on. <laughs> To all three of Come them, try to catch them, right? They forget our media. Media is nosy, okay? <laughs> so, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, 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 Come let's, on with let's, it. <laughs> Listen, I want to thank you all for joining me. Thank you for, but I know we were supposed to do this last week again. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. You have any final words? Start. We're going to start with um, Nicole, then Brian, and then Don. You have any final words that you want to give to the people? I want to say anyone who's thinking about if you ever had a goal for working on your health and fitness, the time is now. Stop putting off your health. It's it's gotten so serious out here where we'll put everything in front of working on our health. And because it's it's not easy. But what we're putting out here is the chance for you to not just improve the way you look, that's, that's going to that's gonna be a byproduct of it, but to improve your health. Something Don mentioned earlier, you know, we're all working on ourselves. I'm working on coming off, I got diagnosed with hypertension last year. And I, I needed to lose weight. <laughs> I needed to work on managing stress. And right now I'm working on coming off this medication, obviously approved by my doctor. So we're all going through our own journeys ourselves. This is constant. We're constant work in progress. So we understand that it's not easy, but mm. we got to stop putting off our health and take it more seriously. What happens, we keep putting things off and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, then someone has a heart attack, a stroke, some kidney failure, then everyone's surprised. <gasps> it came out of nowhere. No, it didn't. <laughs> Nothing comes out of nowhere. There, our body is constantly sending us signs and signals, like Don mentioned, our body is the Rolls Royce. You, it's, it's sending us signals, and we, if that check engine light went off, we would never ignore it on the Rolls Royce. Why are we ignoring it when it comes to our body? So I just wanted to share that the time is now. If you are ready to commit, we are so in this with you, y'all don't even understand. <laughs> Man, real. And I, to my, my, uh, my, my thing to say is to, to the people who feel like they're too old, you know what I'm saying? I have so many people who say, man, Big BC, you can still do that, bro, because you're young. And then I say, well, how old do you think I am? And then I, this happened to me at the gym several times. I've had these guys tell me, oh, man, when you wait till you get my age, I say, how old are you? Oh, man, I'm 49. I'm like, really? I said, I'm 55. Now what? You know what I'm saying? So it's, it doesn't matter how old you are. We have clients. I had a client that was 92 years old who could barely walk. By the time I finished with her, she was doing hanging leg raises. She was doing slight jogging on the treadmill. You know what I'm saying? 92 years old. You know, so yeah. you never get too old to, to, get, to get this fitness journey started. So, look, quit playing. Let's go. Let's go. God. I mean, my team has said it, and uh, we couldn't keep repeating it. We are here to use our gifts with a purpose. And we've been gifted with the ability yes. to be able to educate and share love and help others grow into the best version of themselves. So I understand that we're not here. Uh, the best part about this entire journey for us, while healing ourselves, God has given us the ability to heal others. So we're just doing our part and we're going to continue to try to help heal and grow and change lives. And like Big B said, it ain't, step, it ain't stopping at 200. It won't stop at 300. It won't stop at a million. We're going to save as many of our people as we can from themselves, along with learning ourselves. And I feel like we know and we've learned, and I think pandemic should have taught everybody, health is definitely wealth. We've lost so many and we wasn't prepared to. Now that we see what this can look like, let's get prepared. Let, we're showing you how to prepare for these battles. So let's do it, you guys. We love you. Thank you for having us tonight. And, uh, you know, and he woke us up today, so that's the first start, you guys. Let's that's keep it. moving forward and move with a purpose each day. That's it. All right, ladies yes, and sir. gentlemen, yes, sir. again, I want to thank Brian and Nicole Jenkins, our Bishop Don for BH1's Black Crew, Inc., Chicago reality show, for joining me tonight. This has been 
awesome training, awesome information that they have given us. Once again, if you have not did it so far, I want you to go ahead and download that app, Live, Train, and Eat Fitness app. Go to their website, which is the strongest for the longest um, dot com, and you definitely want to join their 60 day challenge that's coming up next Friday on the 11th. Um, once again, my name is Alice, Alice Boswell. Y'all know who I am, right? And you know what I'm about to say because we're about to head out of here. Find your fire, be true to who you are, and whatever you do, inspire along the way because that's how we're all going to succeed. And look good too, according to them. Okay. All right. See you next week. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all.